Hello and welcome to Cozy Chair, home of the fireplace, which you can hear the parking garage through, which is not ideal, but it, it's the warmest place in the house right now and that's where I need to be. I'm your best friend, Kate, and today we're gonna unbox the, I, I'm assuming she's a Christmas tree pusheen box. They're, so, it's, but then I think she's dressed as a Christmas tree, which is great because this year I've decided to love Christmas. I have gone on the record saying that I hate Christmas in the past, but something happened this year. It was a crisp autumn day and I realized I was really excited for Christmas to happen. And now I have a whole box of Pusheen stuff to open and it's all related one could assume to the holidays. Or it's just, like, is she an alien? Is this, I don't, a mermaid? I don't know, I don't know. But, I'm gonna tear her face off. Wow. So, Pusheen Box has started doing this thing where they email you spoilers for the box. I'm sure there's a setting where you could turn that off. I haven't looked for it because I would have to click a link and then, let that link load and then read the information that was in front of me. It's impossible. So I do know that this is a, a baking themed box, which is just making me more confused about the whole Christmas tree thing, but I'm sure everything's gonna make sense in a minute. The first item, mini vacuum. But why? This is a mini Roomba, which is neat. It's got a cat built into it, because cats love Roombas, I think. Clean up crumbs and dirt with this handheld mini vacuum. I guess this relates to baking, because maybe you have flour all over your counter and you would like to suck it up in a little vacuum. I just think it would be faster and easier to just use a cleaning spray and a cloth. So here that is, here it is. Uh, apparently it's it's operated by little AA batteries. I wonder if this would be really fun for artists who have like little bits of eraser or like pencil shavings on their desk. This is such a specialized tool. I was hoping to get this video filmed and edited in really quick order, but I'm obviously gonna have to go ahead and, and get some footage of me cleaning with this. So presumably, I've used the vacuum, um, and my reaction to it is either positive or negative. So I'll try the positive first. Well, that vacuum did work. Or uh, we have, if it didn't, well, it didn't go so hot. <coughs> well, the vacuum didn't work. Cool. Moving on. Oh, little cupcake liners. That's pretty cute. They, um, uh, unsurprisingly, have Pusheen on them. They are, they are not Christmas themed, but holiday baking, I suppose, is what's happening here today. It's not so much Christmas itself as it is the little rituals surrounding it. That's nice. Next item. This is great. These are measuring spoons. Really cute color. This sounds weird, but I really like this type of plastic. It just feels nice. It's sort of like matte, and like, not to get too asmr on you, but like, good sound, you know? I thought this said meowsering spoons, and I was like, whoa. And it's on this handy dandy Pusheen. Uh-huh. Hmm. Did a, did, did that, seem to, has it, why would, so it's not broken, it's just not, um, good. But now we know, now we know not to use it to dangle the spoons. Oh. Next 
Sam. Ah, ha ha. Pusheen's a little tart. Perhaps she's a cupcake. Cupcake Pusheen. She is, in fact, a cupcake. I think she looks like a little fruit tart. Just, uh, get a little bit better look at this. Well, yeah, it's confirmed adorable. There's her little cupcake liner, I suppose. I really like the way her tail is dangling over the edge. I think that's very cat-like. This whipped cream or frosting, very appetizing. Oh, oh, it's just getting cuter with each passing second. The next item. It appears to be a sweatshirt, but it's in a size small, and I, I like size XXXXXL now. Although, the sweatshirt I'm wearing right now is a small, and I guess that's Wow! I think this is an appropriately sunny shade. I have to be careful with the yellows I wear because sometimes it just makes me look jaundiced. Oh, look at this neat sweatshirt. It's got a little baking poosh on it, but it's um, it's embossed. Oh, okay. So they've done some uh, black magic to somehow make this. I wonder how well it washes because. I mean, you can do some pretty cool stuff with permanent pressing. This is nice. It's so subtly pushy. Oh, I would put it on, but I'm wearing my Christmas attire. But tradition demands that I undress in every single one of these videos. So then I'll have to redo my hair. Ugh, will my torment ever end? I love yellow. It's one of my favorite colors. Oh, this feels buttery. Good. Oh, that was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, this is great. Oh, I love yellow so much. It makes me so happy. I'm glad that it's such a hot color these days too. Like rusts and golds. Mm. Sage, yeah, give me that. Cool, this is great, I'm very content. Next item, oh, awesome. A little pot. Holder. What do, what do you call those things that you can put on the counter and you can put hot things on top of? Not a terrine, not a tippet. Okay, Google. What do you call those things you put pots on? On the website they say a small plate or Trivet. Dish, I, a trivet. I don't need Google, I know stuff. Trivet. Uh, yeah, so it could be your little grabby from the oven, or it could be your little servy, a nice pot of stew. Then it's just such a nice color, and it's got all the little pooshes on there. So I have this little tiny straightening iron that I leave in my locker at the gym, and it actually came with a little wrap for you to wrap it up in that's heat proof. But I've heard that sometimes these are good for that. Obviously, I, I don't know how hot your straightening iron gets or curling iron, and I don't know what these can withstand, but if you ever find yourself with too many these guys and also an abundance of hot hairstyling tools, I don't know, maybe that's useful information to you. Next item. Oh, this is very cute. They're pushing recipe cards. Wow, there are so many of them. Holy cow front and back side. This is great. So on the front, you got the recipe title from the kitchen of notes, prep time, total time, ingredients. Holy crackers. This is really great. Okay, so there she is eating cookie batter on the front, hookah blamer, little cuppity cake in the bottom corner. And on the back, we have Stormy and Poosh. Oh, they use the same Oh, 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 you got lazy. Here she is with some finished baked goods. This might be a really nice gift to give people. Like if you have a baking recipe, you could give people the baked goods and you could also give them the recipe. That's a really nice holiday gesture, I think. Next item, silicone pushing spatula. Yes, yes, heat resistant up to 480 degrees Fahrenheit. 49 Celsius and it's BPA free. This is the information that I like to receive on every product that's supposed to go near my food or face. Let's take it in. <laughs> wow! Look at this. Look how great this spoon is. Spatula. Whatever. It's quite little, but that's okay because sometimes you need to like scoop into the corners. Yup, 
got a good slap to it. There is a little misprint. Her tongue uh, is it's doing something all right. And hence, there you go. Can you, whatever. It's just, it missed. But you know, that makes me like it more. My weird little spoon friend. And the final item today is a little cooling rack. This is great. I don't know anyone who is baking four cookies at a time. Like this is way too small. But you could repurpose it as like a message board. If you hung it up on your wall, you could close pin things to it. Like reminders that you're great. Um, that's kind of it. That's the only thing that's really appropriate for this. You could put photos on it if the photos had someone holding a reminder that said you're great. Maybe put some like little dried flowers. Hand wash only. Bah! Get out of here with that. That was really cool. I can think of lots of different things that I could use this for, except baking just not practical. Like this is just, just very small. I suppose if you had like a little pie, you could put the pie on here. I gotta say, this has been the most cohesive pusheen box I've ever received. Everything in here is very bakey. The, I mean, the sweatshirt is, is a sweatshirt, um, but like, you know, it has that like cozy thing, you're home during the holidays and you're baking cookies. But the, the thing I just don't get is this box. I feel that I've been bamboozled. I mean, I enjoy everything that's in here, but this was just such a weird introduction to it all. I just have questions. I feel like they probably designed the boxes, the actual cardboard boxes, before they decided what was going in them. And I think that's a missed opportunity. But that's fine. I'm not in charge of everything. Yet. Here is the art card that lists everything that's on there. I believe this little hamster character is named Cheeks. And then, still haven't looked up which, which one's Stormy and which one's the one whose name I don't know. I don't know. Didn't look that up. What a great box. It doesn't matter that they threw in this red herring. This is a very enjoyable experience. And hopefully you liked it too. If you'd like another slice of cake, you can follow me on Instagram or on Twitter at Cake Calamity. I would recommend the Instagram over the Twitter. The Twitter's like, it's like hot garbage. So unless that's your thing. I'm hopefully going to be releasing a Lolita wardrobe challenge thing on Instagram soon. In January, we all like to post our wardrobes, but once you've seen someone's wardrobe, you've kind of seen it. So I'm hoping I can post something that sort of sparks questions about the wardrobe as opposed to just like, look at socks. Not that I don't want to look at socks. I actually would love to look at socks. Anyway, Instagram is where that's gonna live. So if you're interested in that, hop on over there and hang tight. I don't know. I'm not gonna post more than twice a month on Instagram. This is too, oh, all the notifications. Does anyone even read notifications anymore? I just see the red dot and click into it so it goes away. There are very few red dots on this earth that I like to look at. I digress. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again after not too long. Bye.